Taking in a performance like this isn't possible right now, thanks to the coronavirus. The arts, though, aren't limited to a building or a stage. It is a belief Richard Zink embraced in this tough time. It's to say, no matter what this virus is, no matter what happens to us as a society, we'll find a way to produce theater. And so it went from the stage to the screen. Richard recruited actors from community theaters for a production of Pygmalion dedicated to everyone affected by COVID-19 with the hashtag stay home. It's what they did. Oh, Henry. Henry, really? Chessie Vigran, who played Mrs. Higgins, and the other performers you see here all shot their parts in homemade home studios. Each actor got a virtual box, showed up in costume, and interpreted a character. It's the craft just without some of the live benefits. You don't hear applause. You don't hear laughter. But what do you see? We had close-ups of one another's faces. Which you don't typically have on the That's stage. right. And there's this. In a time of isolation, Richard's productions are bringing them together, at least remotely. I'm really happy to be doing this. It's kind of my lifeline right mm. now. Explain that to me. Because I'm connecting with other people, doing something that's meaningful to all of us. Well, it's, uh, they say in theater, everything is collaboration. So she's my lifeline, I'm her lifeline. We're all lifelines to each other. And they continue to bring life. I don't mean a love affair. No, what a pity. To an art form they love with purpose. They don't charge to click in, but. If you can donate anything, whether it be small or large to these theaters, I know they will be really grateful because they really need it right now. In what they're calling a concert for good, participating performers through Equality Productions are flexing their creative muscle. Now nothing feels the way it was before. I've been alone. I am not a stranger. To potentially help out what Chessie calls their brick and mortar stages, like her Marymount players. We have to support each other in this time. I think that art is such a vital part of the Cincinnati community. It most certainly is. Richard says about 250 people have seen the performances. They've donated more than $450. And feedback's been great, including this, quote, thanks for finding a way to reignite the powerful light that is Cincinnati theater. And there's more to come. You can catch the first Concert for Good this Friday at 7 on Equality Productions' YouTube channel and Facebook page, Craig.